Hey there, this is Scott with Showing Austin. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I photograph agent intro videos. In this case, the property manager can be a client introduction of any kind with an iPhone. That's the point of my story. What I use with that iPhone, which tools I use to help me along and make it even better, is what I'm gonna show you here as well as some of the angles and setups that I have. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is gonna be the beginning of a video and did some B-roll in between, had her talking over top the different clips. The B-roll is with a gimbal handheld, like shots like these, and I did two setup shots. One with the living room as a background, like this, and I'm gonna show you right now the setup I have here with my B-Script Pro. B-Script Pro is an iPhone mount, but it's more than that. It's got ability to add lenses, filters, lights, mics, etc., and it's universal. So it should be able to fit any smartphone as they change in size, hopefully the new 16 Pro Max as well. And that is the setup and the angle for the living room of this shot. And then I have some B-roll mixed in here. With that B-Skip Pro, here's some close-up shots right here. This is the backside of the B-Skip Pro. You'll see the space for the iPhone here or smartphone. This is the see-through for your lens. And then when you get into the front side view, you've got a nice grip on the right side. You can always change it around, I believe. Yes, you can actually. You can disconnect it and reconnect it for lefties. And you've got the area here where it's a a 37 millimeter thread for either filters to go direct or some B-Script lenses. B-Script lens I do use for this is a Kenko 0.75. The iPhone has the 1X, best, at least the iPhone 15 Pro Max has the 1X that is the best lens. So with this additional lens, you not only take that sharpness down a little bit that iPhones usually have, but you could, could cut back to a 0.75 focal length so it's a little bit wider and you're using the best lens in that in that camera now the 16 Pro Max has been said to have a 48 megapixel lens both for the 1x and the 0.5 if that's the case you won't, may not need a lens like this unless you still want to get away that take away sharpness which is a factor and the other thing I do use here once in a while is this black mist it's basically a filter that gives it a little cinematic vibe. It takes down the, the uh, harshness of some of the lighting, both during the, the daytime inside a home and the outside on the street or outside a home. This particular video, I do, do not use this, but I just want to show you that this is part of my normal setup here with this B-Script Pro. And the other shot I did right here is with the B-Script Pro in this agent. Now I'm using if you notice, a gimbal, this is the Weeble S gimbal, you can use any gimbal, and I'm gonna show you more of the total setup and the look of that, but I'm using this with the tripod attached underneath of it. So I am using the same setup for this other shot, using the kitchen as a background, I'll let it run. And again, this is some B-roll with that same gimbal handheld mixed in after the other two shots were done with a little bit of lighting as well. I didn't show the lighting, it was just a little bit of a fill light to cut out some shadows on her face. And here is the, the full gimbal with the setup here. I'm gonna enlarge it for you so you can see it better. There's the tripod coming out of the bottom. Lens attached. Now you can put the filters right over top of that. On this side, you can see the counterweight because of the iPhone and the lens being a little weighted on the left side, a counterweighted on the right side. Same thing you would do with a DSLR mirrorless camera with a gimbal. And up here is a cold shoe. So you can put a mic up here, a light up here. There's also some attachments on the side for lights and monitors in this gimbal. It's really nice. It's made to be a DSLR mirrorless camera gimbal. I have attached this B-Script Pro because you need something heavy like this for the B-Script Pro to make it work. So that's pretty much my setup. I'm gonna put links below with all this gear. Let me know if you have any questions or, or comments below. And if you use a different setup, please share it. We're all just a sharing community here. If you like what you see, go ahead and see the rest of this video up here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.